G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at calculations involving speed. Uh, these are ones where we would either be working at, say, how fast something was going uh, in terms of, say, kilometres per hour or miles per hour, given uh, <laughs> time and distance. Or maybe we're working at distance calculations or time calculations. So everything involving speed, how far and how fast and that sort of thing. Now I'm going to assume when we're doing this that you don't know very much, okay? Uh, but so we're going to be going through these and I'll show you a few good little tricks. Now this is my really, really bad drawing of a car and I've drawn this on here for a reason. Not to show you my astounding art skills, which I know, I know they are incredible. But what I'm actually looking at with this is, this is the thing most people understand with speed, okay? Because you're driving down the road and quite often you see and quite possibly pay attention to these particular signs, okay? And they'll tell you how fast you should be going, okay? Speed limit signs. Most people know this, okay? So speed is, uh, okay, this is the speed we should be going. I'll even write that down. Now, speed should be equal to 60. Now, 60 what? And most people do understand, if you're in Australia, that it means 60 kilometres per hour. Or if you're in the States, you might call this 60 miles per hour. But straight away, we have got ourselves a formula, okay? So I'm going to rub this 60 out because it's sort of irrelevant. Well, the police might not say that. But um, <laughs> you're going to see here that what we have is we have a distance over time. Okay? So speed is equal to distance okay, over time. This might be miles per hour or something like this. So I'm going to write our formula down here. Speed is equal to, and I'll rub that out. So, when we do this, we're going to say distance over time. Look, I'm going to leave that car up there for the minute, just to, so you can all bask in my, my, great, my great artwork. But you see, this will be something like uh, kilometres per hour, or miles per hour, or metres per second. I think I've laboured the point on that one. So, you should know the formula is. It's a really great way of remembering this particular formula. Okay, so the type of question you might get asked with this is, say you might say, um, what is the speed of an object, what is the speed of a car, if it goes and you'd be given a distance and you'd be given a time. So let's, let's give you one here. Say we were given a distance of, uh, it went, uh, let's say, 120 kilometers, and it did this in a time of, uh, let's say, five hours. It was flying along at, <laughs> no, it's not, it's not very fast at all. So how would we work out what speed this car slowly went down the road? Well, we'd go distance over time. Distance, which is 120 kilometers. Again, for this particular one is kilometers, over a time of five hours. Okay, so 120 divided by 5 is equal to 24. 24 kilometers per hour. Okay, so kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. Okay, so hopefully you're good with these. And this doesn't matter if you're talking about miles per hour, it's the same formula. If you're talking about meters per second, it's the same sort of thing. Okay, so our units over here are going to change then. Okay, uh, just one thing to be careful of with this, and that is a bit later on, you, you will want to watch these units, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you a heads up when we're doing these. So, that's all well and good, and that's if you want to work out speed, but say we were given a speed and we are given a time, and we wanted to work out the distance, something in traffic, but say we were given a time, so, so, so we're given a speed and a distance and we wanted to work at the time. We were, we were given a time and a speed and we wanted to work at the distance. How would we do this? Well, I'm going to show you a little way of being able to change this formula around. And this is not involving anything dividing by this or times by this and then moving that over there and moving this over here. I'm going to show you a far, far simpler way of doing this. And that is through this idea. First off, you draw yourself a triangle. Okay? This is my triangle here. Isn't it beautiful? I'll put a T right in the middle of it. And we're going to be using that T because I'm going to write this, our formula here, our speed equals distance over 
time. Do you see that? Speed is equal to distance over time. Also, look, I know this is hard to do, but I am going to rub out this car. Okay, what happens if we wanted to work out, say, uh, time? A time calculation. This would be equal to, and I'm going to put my thumb over the top of this, and you're going to see that we have the distance is over the speed. Time is equal to distance over speed. And that is true. Okay, so distance. over speed okay how's that for you pretty good say we wanted to work out um, in fact what about first off I give you a example of this so say we were given a distance that had been traveled which was a thousand miles I'm not actually sure how to abbreviate miles. We don't tend to use them over here in Australia, but anyone wants to tell me, I'm not sure. I sort of feel uncomfortable using them. That's how we abbreviate metres over here. But we were doing a speed of, uh, say we were doing, um, <laughs> well, I was better to say 110 kilometres an hour, but say we were doing a speed of 60 miles per hour. How long would this take? So we would use our formula here and we would say that our time is equal to this distance, which is a thousand miles. I'm going to abbreviate to M. I'm probably going to be doing totally wrong there, but it doesn't. Okay. Over the speed, which is 60 miles per hour. Okay. Now the answer to that, if we were to do this, is is 16.6 now 16.6 what you're going to see here that these this and this cancel each other out so we're left with hours okay and it makes sense okay this is a time measurement we've got our measurement in hours okay and just be careful when we've ever got these um, particular decimals involving time this doesn't mean uh you know this is actually 0.6 of 60 minutes so so just yeah just just be careful of those anyway <laughs> what about we now work out a distance measurement so hopefully that's pretty good so let's have a look at a distance measurement so i'll get my lucky red pen and i'll go distance and this is equal to okay distance i'll put my thumb over this here my yellow pen and i'll say that it equals this speed times time okay so distance equals speed times time okay speed times time okay so say we were given a um, speed of what about we were doing 100 kilometers per hour and we were given a time of 30 minutes and I'll chuck this in here to be a little bit confusing here to show you a little pitfall here now first off what you're going to notice is we can go this times this correct no we can't and I'll tell you why because our biggest problem with this is our units are not the same here we've got time measurements where they're in different units now we have to get these units the same before we start so I'm going to change this into hours so 30 minutes is how many hours and you're going to see that it's half an hour which I'm going to write as 0 0.5 hours okay so our speed is equal not working at speed what am I doing our distance is equal to speed times time so speed which is 100 kilometers per hour and this is times 0 0.5 hours I'm trying to squash it in my work there <laughs> okay so with this with okay um, 
what are we going to do now? We're going to multiply these guys out together, so 0 0.5 times 100, and we're going to get an answer of 0 0.5 times 100 is 50. 50 watts, well you're going to see that our hours cancel each other out, because this is dividing and this is timing at the time, so we're just going to end up with kilometres. Okay, so our distance is 50 kilometres. So hopefully you're fairly good with these, okay, so there's a couple of things to remember that one how to work out those distance over time type measurements, but then how to change them around. And then it's just a simple matter of plugging things into the formula. Anyway, hopefully you understand that, and hopefully it's really good. Any questions, comments, as usual, please send them through. Anyway, take care of yourself. Bye.